Hi, uh, my name is Mark Thomas. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my first video, just sort of introducing myself and uh, sort of yeah, what what this channel is all about. Um, so yeah, as I said, my name's Mark. Uh, I come from sort of Birmingham, UK, um, and I got into astrophotography um, a little bit under a year ago, um, at the beginning of the uh, the, the pandemic. Um, basically, what I found was. Uh, I already had loads of camera equipment, but sadly, because we couldn't go anywhere, we were in lockdown. Um, it was one of those situations where I've got literally nothing to do, we can't go anywhere. All we could do is go for walks around the block, um, and I needed something to keep me uh, occupied. So um, what I what I realised and um, sort of stumbled across some channels like a sort of Astro Backyard, um, Astro Addict, um, Alan Wallace as well. Um, just some really interesting videos about what you can capture in the night sky um, pretty much from your your sort of backyard or your back garden um, as we call it in the UK um, and realized yeah all I needed um, to sort of take those photographs was yeah I could do it with a tripod but because of the, um, the, the moving night sky because of the rotation of the earth um, it would be better if I actually got a uh, sort of an equatorial mount and I could start tracking um, the stars that way. Um, so I fundamentally got into the, uh, the hobby, bought myself a Skywatcher Star Adventurer um, tracking mount, um, put my SLR on top of that, and um, got my 70 to 200 mil zoom lens and started sort of taking uh, deep sky objects um, using that setup. Uh, very quickly realised that I had things like um, light pollution to deal with so uh, went out at that point and bought myself a, um, a light pollution filter um, that would um, enable me to cut out sort of a majority of things like the street lighting and things like that. And that works um, pretty well to an extent and um, however my first imaging sessions they really didn't work out too well. I mean I, I had um, had problems like sort of pointing the, the camera at the night sky thinking I was ro pointing in roughly the right direction of the, um, the North American nebula at the time um, only to find out once I'd taken the photo and couldn't really see on the back of it so I then sort of took it into Photoshop tried stretching it and literally there was nothing there um, pretty deflating at that particular point in time because I thought well Okay, is my camera not able to do this? Am I, what am I doing wrong? Um, I realised I was just literally not quite pointing in exactly the right um, part of the night sky. Um, it's quite tricky to, to sort of know exactly where to point your camera in these situations because you can't actually physically see it with the uh, with the naked eye. So um, you have to do a lot of things like sort of um, star hopping, know what you're looking at, and sort of move yourselves relative to that. Um, I tried some different things like zooming out to sort of see where I was meant to be pointing at and pointing the camera as close to possible and then zooming back in and focusing um, and those sorts of things helped and I managed to get some um, sort of okay images at the time um, in the grand scheme of things as some of the amazing sort of photographs that you get out there um, not really that great but, but hey I was just starting out and that's, that's the point really um, what I realised was um, with this hobby there's, there's literally so much to learn, um, anything from um, how, to, how to set up your camera, the camera that you um, really need for certain objects, um, understanding of the night sky, what you're looking at, which direction you should be looking at, where's, where's the Milky Way, where's the core, where's all of the interesting subjects, all of those different things and then moving into um, the, the, the software and the processing side as well there's literally so much to learn but it's so that was fantastic in um, in, in lockdown with pretty much nothing else to do um, apart from work of course but in, in sort of that spare time nothing else to do so so, so why not pick this up as a hobby um, so that's pretty much it as an introduction um, what I'm sort of doing this evening though is uh, currently sort of working on um, an imaging session um, on the Rosette Nebula. Um, kind of sort of fast forward significantly from where I was about a year ago. Um, currently, I've got a, um, a telescope set up in the in the back garden now. Um, I've 
with a dedicated uh, astrophotography camera um, and a go-to mount as well. So lots of things that I've learned in between that first session and, and today. Um, for example, I've just been trying to work on, um, on auto-guiding and trying to, trying to get that to work. So the purpose of this channel really is, is fundamentally um, I'll, I'll go back to the beginnings, talk about what it was that I was doing at the time, um, what was working, what didn't work, um, and then my sort of journey from uh, using that Star Adventure mount um, onto sort of moving on to go to mounts and the challenges and the problems that I had with those things as well. Um, and then just sharing some images along the way, um, sharing what I've learned. Um, the, the, the bits around sort of image manipulation, Photoshop and stacking of images and the plan is to sort of cover all of those sorts of things as well. So um, if you like what you see, um, please sort of hit subscribe and hit the like as well if you like this video um, and sort of come back and, uh, and see what else I've got to show. Brilliant, thanks.